chili and rice, Thai chicken curry. Well, then you've got pasta Provençal. Oh, there's, some, there's a Greek dish, a feta cheese pasta, just in case, a bit of Greek in there. It's got more reference to Thailand and America and Hawaii and Maryland and everywhere, everywhere else other than Britain. This is the menu of a company in a panic. Mixed grill. That's massive. First up is the most expensive dish on the menu, the Mega Mixed Grill at £9.49. I think it's going to take me as long to chew this one piece as it did for this dish to arrive. Well, that, that chicken breast is dreadful. It's dry and it's not great quality chicken. So is it okay for you? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through it now. Uh, I'll come back uh, in a second. Thank you. Next, Little Chef's famous all-day breakfast, the Olympic, at £7.25. It is massive. I don't know how many people can actually eat all this at breakfast. You have an outdoor rear sausage. It's fine, but the actual how much of the outdoor rear meat actually goes into the sausage, I think it's actually more of it's come from the baker than the actual farmer. And cook the Little Chef way. Scrambled eggs straight from the microwave normally served on toast. It's, it's rubbery. The texture's not good. It doesn't taste amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Don't you do that? Okay. Forget all the, all the glossy veneer stuff. Go back to the basics, get that sorted, and I think this might be at the heart of what's going wrong here. Serving the nation since 1958, 50 years of Little Chef. There's what, 55 million people in Britain? And five here. 